telling me? You're telling me the Japanese, the Syrians, the Syrians, and the Amish all support Black Lives Matter, but you can't see a problem. Using these two cue balls, I'll explain to you the Black Lives Matter problem in Australia. I have two pool tables, and the first one, this is a minority table, which includes indigenous people. And all they have to do is hit the brake and get the balls in, fairly simple. But this table, this is a white Australia table, and they pretty much had 200 years head start, and they established everything in the country, so their brake looks like this. Bro, can you get home ownership in, and business? Beautiful. But don't worry, my minority uh, friends, don't fret, because you still have your brake. Uh, but before you start, I just need to... Put this here. Wait, the... Don't worry, it's a trauma, uh, injustice, and discrimination. But I said sorry, so it should be fine. So just go for it, bro. I think you're just being lazy, eh? Wait, wait, wait. So y'all think once we get justice for protesting Black Lives Matter that we done? Nah. We doing it for them next. We ain't letting them get away with taking thousands of children away from their families. Barely feeding them and locking them in cages. And not only that, they took thousands of children away from their families to sexually abuse them and send them off to sex trafficking? Nah, a lot of y'all stood by us, and we gonna stand by y'all. Abolish ICE. In real talk, I don't care if you're illegal or not. You gotta do what you gotta do to make sure that you and your family stable and to make sure that you and your fam have a great life. You know what they say, family first. Shit, I don't know. Technically, he shouldn't be able to say the word. Why can he okay, use it? Because I'm 14% African. 14? That doesn't... Shit, I'm probably 14%. I am 14% African. Ancestry.com. Look, we don't give a fuck. For real? Just say the damn word, okay? It doesn't matter. It's cool, right? I don't give a shit. I what? give a fuck. Don't say that shit. I will slap the shit out of you. No, no, no. No, you won't because you have been outvoted by your peers. I'm George W. Bush. I don't give a fuck what the vote says. Dang. What the fuck? I don't say it. <sighs> All right, you can say it. Thank you. And I appreciate that. I really do. I like a nigga was saying, what the fuck? <laughs> it's way deeper than police brutality. Search up professional hair for men. Now search up unprofessional hair for men. Now do the same for women. What is this? Brother, did you hear what is going on in America? Brother, I heard they are killing the black people because they look the way they look. I wonder why they don't say forget it and come home. Brother, it is because they are taught we are poor here. They are taught that we are poor, eh? We are poor? Yes, brother, they teach them that this place is worthless and full of disease and poverty. I see, is that why America gets their diamonds from here, eh? Is that why they get their minerals and resources from here? Because we are poor? Brother, I hate they have a place called San Francisco where people have no homes and poop in the streets. Brother, how uncivilized. So uncivilized. Okay, I'm done. It's time to turn the whole America upside fucking down. It's time to blow this shit apart. Pop. We've talked about this on the show before. You have African-American rappers saying inward this and inward that, but a Caucasian can't. So say it. Say what? Say the word you want to say. I'm not saying that I want to say it. I'm just saying that I can't. Sure you can. Say it. Say it right now. <sighs> I will say it with you. Okay. This is hypocritical. You know we can't. Sure you can. This is America. Both of you. Say it. <laughs> This is the truth about the cops and what they don't want you to see or know. They don't want you to see how completely peaceful most of these protests are and how many people are showing. Remember how I said despite the precautions we take, the news will blame protesters for the spike in coronavirus cases? Well, it's happening. Don't forget, the cops are the ones not taking precaution. Here's a cop fake coughing and making fun of protesters for telling him to wear a mask. They don't want you to see that they have undercover cops going into peaceful protests. They don't want you to know that they have illegally been arresting peaceful protesters. On June 3rd in the Bronx, they surrounded peaceful protesters before 8 a.m curfew so the protesters could not leave. You can hear the peaceful protesters begging the cops to let them go as they are surrounded in a trap. Once 8 p.m. hit, they were all arrested. My friend who was arrested at this protest was denied feminine products, not read her Miranda rights, called a bitch, and when asked for water, had water bottles poured in front of her as the cops laughed. They don't want you to know that we are peaceful and they are violent. What they don't want you to know above everything is that they are scared. The worldwide momentum we have right now is making them petrified. So use whatever privileges, skill set, and means possible to get involved. Be on the right side of history. Let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. Thank you. I just want to say I'm glad that you guys are out here. Trump now has proved that racist white America does exist. You do exist. We have. So someone said it was supposed to be a protest and not a riot. 
but it was supposed to be an arrest, not a murder. This young group of African Americans were just minding their own business. Then this white guy kept calling them the N-word and swearing at them for no reason. When they decided to walk up to him, he instantly regretted what he said. By then, it was too late and he got put to sleep. Lesson for today is to think before you speak. So a lot of you guys have probably seen this tank of a man protesting. He's straight up taking on the cops like all by himself. So no one knows who he is? Hmm. Yo, 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 oh, yo, girl, hey, whoa, hey. I know I don't have much of a voice because I'm a small creator, but I still have some. I need y'all to see this. Um, take a look. So this 12-year-old boy was in court for a felony charge for selling CDs. And as you can tell by his skin color, he's a person of color. And then this white woman who's a daycare provider who hanged a toddler in her basement was sentenced to probation. Felony charge, probation. I've seen the videos on Twitter showing cops punching protesters, arresting people for no reason, tear gassing bystanders, and all this bullshit open the floodgates to bizarre shit. Fucking Batman showed up, property was destroyed, and white teenage angst hit an all-time high. For the first time ever, white teens have gotten what they have always wanted. Purpose. Dylan and Cody are going full-on Mad Max cosplay. Caucasians are fucking karate-kicking police cars like their parents just got divorced. And the problem is, the conversation has quickly turned from police brutality to this. The rape of America is happening, and it's happening right before our eyes. And it has nothing to do with the death of that poor man. These wanton acts of violence are part of a coordinated effort to eventually overthrow the United States government. The worst people in our society have taken control. I couldn't agree more. Hello, everyone. I'm sure everyone has seen this photo of uh, Dictator Trump holding a Bible. Allow me to show you a few other people who took a photo eerily similar. <gasps> It's also worth mentioning that there's obviously undercover police officers in the crowds. This one here is seen wearing a wire. And countless reports of pallets of bricks being dropped off. Now, if you heard what Dictator Trump said in his speech today, this Oompa Loompa with a neck vagina said that bricks were being thrown at good men. Instead of throwing bricks, here's what you can do. The protesters in Hong Kong use them to create barricades, so it's harder for the police to maneuver around them. If you see a pallet of bricks anywhere lying around, do not use them to throw or loot or anything. Use them to create barricades and make yourself safe. It will stall time and make it way harder for them to go through the crowds. Share this and stay safe. So check this out, y'all. Pass the word around. Pass the word around, alright? Everybody needs to know this. The next white person that says the N-word can beat the fuck up. We ain't giving y'all no more passes. What is it about President Obama that really gets under your skin is it because he's smarter than you better educated made it on his own Period. didn't need daddy's help his wife is more accomplished better looking i don't know what is it what is it about him that he's a black man that's accomplished became president and he punked you on the whole birth certificate thing. What is it about him? Just wondering. Ladies and gentlemen, the volume inside of this bus is astronomical. It is way... It'd be a shame if protesters found out that if you filled a balloon with paint and you threw it at riot police, it would cover their vision and they wouldn't be able to fight back unless they took their face mask off. And if they did that, then they, they wouldn't be able to tear gas you without it affecting them. Be a real shame. Please don't share this or like or comment because we don't want them to find out. Okay, hear me out. Stop thanking me for supporting your movement, for saying that black lives matter, that indigenous lives matter, that the LGBTQ plus lives matter. In fact, stop thanking white and straight creators and supporters full stop.
We are not giving you a gift. We are giving you back what we have stolen from you. We should be thanking you for centuries because this kingdom was built from the sweat on your back, your blood, your tears, your lives. So much of what we have, we owe to you. Even our culture, we stole from you, reaped the benefits and then denied you of them. And if you feel that you need to thank someone in order for them to continue to support you and amplify your voice, they are not a true supporter. This revolution started because of you, again from your blood, sweat, tears, and lives. This is not our moment. This is your movement. So please don't thank me, because my friends, you bow to no one. Thank you.